morning you guys are not going to be shocked about what i'm about to tell you um but the fun fact is that i didn't film any of my birthday ah i'm so lame like i just like didn't i just didn't like i started to film a little bit of it and then i was like i just like was too in the moment do you know what i mean like don't even hate me for it i didn't ask for your opinion just telling you the facts but we're back with another V v vlog that nobody asked for but we're back I'm actually about to head to tape i'm running late and i'm in a bit of a foul mood today my hair's looking tragic nothing's working thought i'd take you long next few days got nothing too crazy going on but on saturday i'm actually getting a tattoo getting a tattoo of my lenny uh which is our dog he passed away last year so getting a tattoo for him so super excited um and if i remember i'll take you <laughs> with me i'm just heading to tafe now nothing i'm just starting the vlog now i don't know when i'm gonna restart it again but this is me like i'm starting it now so just wait and see what comes guys it is saturday and i'm about to go get a tattoo yes you heard that right i'm about to go get an absolute tattoo i've actually parked in the wrong spot and now i have to pay five dollars which is really rude because i got free parking with their parking but i didn't know how to get in it was really confusing and i didn't want to do another lap so i'm just gonna go here but getting a tattoo on my ankle of my little doggy that passed away last year i've really been wanting to get a tattoo for him so i'm super excited um i'm not gonna film on this camera when i go and i'm tr might try and get a few clips on my phone though so the quality is gonna be like <coughs> but didn't ask but yes super exciting i thought i just have i haven't gotten a tattoo in like two years i've got two and i've been itching for a new one i feel like this is i perfect like i really wanted one for him so hopefully it turns out good fingers absolutely crossed i just finished i can't show you the tattoo on my ankle because it's all wrapped up but that that is what I got. That is my dog Lenny that passed on the 14th of the 6th, 2022. So I've got that, that size on my right ankle. It looks, I just thought it looks so realistic. Um, I feel like my boyfriend's probably going to hate it, but okay. Oh, I love it. I love tattoos. So really happy about that. Can't wait till it heals and everything. So... Good morning. Hopefully the lighting's okay. I'm in a really, I'm in an undercover car park, so it's a little bit dodge. But it is Sunday. After you, you would have seen that after my tattoo yesterday. My boyfriend and I just went to the gym. We just did a really quick full body workout. I mean, it was mainly, it was a bit more so upper body, but super quick session. We didn't really want to be there we just kind of wanted to move our bodies so just a really quick upper body session thought i'd film it for you guys but it's sunday now also i got a new necklace she's starting just a really clean silky smooth one but sunday now i just went out for breakfast with my boyfriend and now i'm off to the gym again i didn't have the greatest workout last night it was really quick so i'm just going to do a really lovely up no lower body today also this is my tat you can't really see it but it's bleeding it's bleeding ink which i have two tattoos that i did get them done two years ago and i don't remember them bleeding ink afterwards this is a fine line i've never done a fine line before i'm just gonna give it a few days i'll have a shower when i get home uh give it a few days and see how she's going um and then i'll contact them if i'm like concerned but i'm pretty sure it's normal um yeah but Honestly, last night I was looking, I was like, do I even like it? Because I think it's, like, scaring me. Like, this tattoo is so realistic. When I tell you it looks exactly like Lenny, it is so realistic. It was making me genuinely uncomfortable. 
Ugh. But I didn't get it for the looks. I got it for my beautiful dog that passed away. So, anyway. Bad news is I forgot my shaker, which means we're going to have to dry scoop today, babes. This is what we're dry scooping on nutrition. This shit is amazing. Honestly, honestly, it might be better than OxyShred. Don't count me on it. I This is only, this will be my third time using it, but I love it and the flavor is just phenomenal. But I'm going to try and dry scoop. I've never dry scooped before because it scares me. Like, low key, it scares me. This is blueberry lemonade, by the way. So, I'm, no, I'm actually scared. And not to be TMI, but I need to shit really bad. And like, I, this might like really get me going. <laughs> like, I'm not even trying to be TMI, but like, I just like, you know when you have like, you, it's middle of the day and you still haven't done your morning shit yet and you just like start to feel really uncomfortable. That is me right now. Deep breaths, guys, okay. Just gonna moisten my mouth a little bit first. Okay, here we absolutely go. Three, two, one. Wow. Okay. I kind of got that down nice and smooth. It was a awful feeling in my mouth, like just like ah. I won't be doing that again unless absolutely necessary. I also am feeling super bloated today. So that's probably a better option so I don't have so much liquid in my stomach. And I did have a whole entire audience in the car park watching me when I was doing that, which is really eshe. But anyway, I'm going to go into my absolute lower body session. Um, and then afterwards today, I actually have to finish writing my speech. I've only done like three PowerPoints and after that's due tomorrow. So I have to finish writing my speech. Then I have to go to Officeworks and print off shit for tape. Anyway, I need shit. This is disgusting because the protein powder I bought is disgusting, but I don't want to waste it. Um, it is dairy free, so it gives me absolutely no stomach pains, but it tastes like absolute ass crack. So I just have to like scull this down really fast. If you guys have any good dairy free protein, let me know. I think I'm just going to cut protein powder all together and just start drinking protein water instead because it's dairy free, gluten free. This like it. It makes me want to gag. Hello, it has been a couple of hours. I've just been doing my assignment. I actually drove to office work, so I had to print something off, and all was fine. And then I go to turn my car on to come back. It's not turning on. The bitch isn't turning on. So I'm sitting there for like 20 minutes. I've tried turning on like four times. This has happened before. And then I finally get her on. Oh my god, there's literally a spider on my bed. See ya. Anyway, there's. It finally turned on. There's all these lights on my dashboard. I'm thinking, this is awesome, but I need to get home. So the lights go away except for one. And I'm like, I've seen this one before. It's not a big deal. I start driving and I'm driving and it doesn't feel right. It does not feel right. I'm not, like, you just know when it doesn't feel right. There was no, like, acceleration. There was no power in my car. So when I would stop at a roundabout or a set of lights, I would put my foot down and I would, like, roll like, I'm literally doing, like, 10, 20 kilometers. I'm, like, rolling. My foot is to the floor. It was taking about, like, like a minute to get up to speed. And I was like, okay, this is really not right. Then I get to a set of lights and my engine shuts off. It completely shuts off because I go to put my foot on the accelerator and I'm not moving. In fact, I actually roll backwards. Remember, guys, didn't this happen, like, literally a few weeks ago? Yeah, it did. Roll backwards. Turn off my engine. All these lights are on my dashboard. Turn off my engine. Turn it back on. And then she drove. This has happened twice now. And now I'm like scared to drive it. I literally got a tape in Brisbane. And I can't catch a train every day. Um, because I hate public transport. And also <clears throat> because I don't have the money to fill up on my go card this week. Unfortunately, she's an absolute broke girl. Oh, yes. So I'm just like living the best life. Live, laugh, love.